Hi and welcome to another video. Today we'll compare MPT undervolting with uh, usual normal undervolting with Wattman. So I have my 24-7 settings, um, which I'll show you later. And the Witcher 3 is running with 53 to 54 FPS and uh, is around uh, 950 millivolts um, with a clock of 2350 roundabout and 187 watts. Um, what we will focus on is the voltage. Keep in mind we are at 950 millivolts capped with MPT and the total power consumption of around 190 watts. Um, we'll compare it to an usual Wattman undervolt and yeah, we got around 54 FPS and uh, temperatures are in check too. So we'll hit escape and look at the settings I got. So these are the more power tool settings. We have uh, a maximum GFX of 950 millivolts and uh, 1000 on the SOC. And we have power limit of 217 watts and 217 GFX amperes. So we jump in Wattman and in tuning. And we are around 2400 MHz max frequency and 950 millivolts with VRAM on fast timings and 2100 MHz. And we got power tuning plus 15. Yeah, the fan speed is uh, tuned too, so we won't hit any high temperatures. Smart access memory is on, of course. And yeah, um, so I'll, mm, oh yeah, I'm on 23.4.1 and Witcher 3 is running at around 55 FPS as we saw. So uh, I'll go to um, more power tool, then uh, I will delete SPPTs and we'll look at the Wattman uh, default undervolting performance. So we've removed SPPTs and when we heat restart 64 exa from CAU we can um, undo our SPPT stuff that uh, was input previously and um, see what the SPPT settings will be on default for this GPU. So I've restarted the driver with 364.exe and it says graphics driver restarted so I won't have to restart my whole PC to let the um, um, MPT settings be on default. So we start MPT. Select our GPU, here it is, and load the BIOS of the RX 6800. Uh, this is that one. And we are on stock settings. So we got power and voltage. We got uh, 1025 millivolts on the GFX, 1050 on the SOC. 203 watts power limit on the GPU and 200 ampere on the GFX. So okay, um, so yeah, we are have uh, 950 GFX on the uh, GPU previously and thousands on the SOC. Uh, we had 217 on the GPU and 217 ampere on the GFX. Yeah. Um, then we go to our adrenaline software. And 
and we'll set it to manual tuning so yeah um, we'll set it to um, default 2224 and uh, let's uh, setting uh, the same for the VRAM and for the power tuning we disable zero fan RPM and we are now at 1025 millivolts we hit apply changes and start the witcher I will make a short break here so we are back at the witcher we have 51 FPS left because we um, underclocked our GPU by around 200 megahertz as you can see we are at 2170 FPS and at around uh, 950 millivolts and the uh, GPU is on 180 watts so um, I'll hit escape and change the settings to 2400 megahertz on the GPU apply changes and get back to the Witcher which is again at around 2350 megahertz but we are at uh, one 1025 millivolts so it's showing 1.03 volts and we are consuming 222 watts which is quite a lot but we have 55 fps so we gained one fps um, so i will now undervolt the gpu and see if mpt undervolting is any good so i hit escape and go to adrenaline software again so we will decrease the voltage to 950 millivolts and see if it has any effects so apply changes and get back to Witcher 3 yeah um, we are at 1010 millivolts and we are pulling at around 220 watts so um, through the Wattman undervolt we got around 5 watts less but what is very important here is that uh, the voltage is not kept to 950 millivolts as we saw it with MPT uh, but instead it's at uh, 101 volts uh, which increases the temperature by much and um, yeah the MPT undervolt is helping a lot because we were previously at 180 watts and now we are at 220 watts with around the same performance and yeah so uh, uh, MPT is definitely helping us and uh, the regular Wattman undervolt is bringing us next to nothing so I will quit the game and yeah um, <coughs> so uh, MPT is definitely helping us with undervolts and uh, by keeping the voltage uh, to 950 millivolts instead of going around with Wattman and decreasing the voltage offset um, we pull around 40 watts less and having the same performance. So thank you and see you in the next one.